In this video, I will demonstrate the use of Stats Calculator, a simple tool that allows performing arithmetic operations and more complex statistical operations. Stats Calculator is available on, under Tools, Introduction and the Stats Calculator tab. Stats Calculator consists of one single window into which you can type in your equations. For example, if I'm interested in the sum of two numbers, such as 4 and 4, I can just type in 4 plus 4 and hit Calculate and get the results immediately, which is 8. No surprise there. I might be interested in some more complex arithmetic operations, such as division, 2, the power of 3, and I would expect the number 1 to appear, and indeed it does. I might combine these with some more complex arithmetic operations such as division and then taking the absolute value of the result. So ABS stands for the absolute value minus 30, let's say. Here, what I'm doing is I'm taking the result from the previous operation, subtract 30 and take the absolute value and I would expect the number 29 to appear and indeed it does. I can use this for a number of arithmetic operations but also for which is more important in this context statistical operations such as calculating the mean. Mean is the average value. I want to take a mean of a set of numbers for simplicity's sake Let's say I take three values, one, two, and three. Here, uh, the letter C stands for creating a data set of these three values. This is just a small technicality to bear in mind. When I hit calculate, I get the mean result two. I can do this and calculate standard deviation, I get the value of 1. I might be interested in taking a random sample out of this data set. Say I'm interested in random value, just one random value out of 1, 2 and 3. Hit calculate and just randomly the number was 3. If I recalculate I get perhaps a different number can do this multiple times. I can select a subset of two numbers out of this three number set and again I get my result immediately. When we look at some real values, uh, real numbers, they are available under the data next to this video so you can follow this very closely and uh, try to perform the calculations yourself. So I just copy paste this into the search box. What I have here is a, an equation for the mean value taken from 64 different numbers that represent 64 different speakers in the BNC64 corpus. And the values I'm looking at are the values, the relative frequencies of the definite article normalized to the basis of 10,000. So the question is, how many times per 10,000 words does the definite article appear among these speakers? And the value is uh, close to 300. Here you have the precise value 29568 something. I can do the same thing with standard deviation. Calculate the standard deviation. Again, I get uh, the number. I might be interested in taking the standard deviation not from the whole data set, but just from a random subset. Let's say I'm interested in the sample of 10. standard deviation from a sample the sample is 
10 close the brackets and just calculate the standard deviation here each time I hit calculate I get a different number because I'm taking a different sample and I can observe how these differ I can do the same thing with the mean taking the mean value of the random sample of the 10 values from my whole data set again click calculate I'm getting a number close to 300 again a different number this time it, it is 264 300 over 300 this time and so on so I can see the variation when I'm taking random samples out of my data set very very easily finally I want to show you one other use when I'm looking at statistical distributions such as the chi-squared distribution when I'm calculating the chi-squared test or the log likelihood I might be interested in finding out the cutoff values for this distribution let's say I'm interested in the alpha level 5% or 0 0.05 and I'm interested in the cutoff value of the chi-squared distribution Q before that because I'm interested in the distribution or the test itself 0.95 that tells me I'm interested in the alpha value of 5% degrees of freedom in the typical corpora settings when we compare to corpora we have the degrees of freedom of one because we have two to two uh, contingency table two times two and I get the value 3.84 if I'm interested in the alpha level of one percent I can just change this value very easily I get the cutoff point of six point sixty three and I can be interested in even smaller alpha levels and I get these numbers very very easily from the stats calculator okay this was just a very brief demonstration of some of the functions of the stats calculator you have a more complex description of the functions here and the link to a website that describes the full potential of this tool.